They didn't get all their stuff back. He sold a lot of it. Who's, what who's he? he? Gave, who's he? Josh Joe. Binks. How do you know this? How because I was at his house twice when people were there buying stuff. Did you sell some of the stuff that was in the, in the storage? I never unit? sold uh, only no, three I, things. I gave it back to them. She's lying. Yes, she is. We have all the evidence before us, and we've heard your testimony. The parties are excused while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you. This courtroom is now in recess. There was a, a, a certain incoherence running through the testimony that I think that we have a handle on it to this extent. We know based on the answer of the defendant, Mr. Beeks, and his testimony here in court that he did not tell the truth. Correct. He specifically said under oath in his answer, she accepted $1,500 in cash and my car for property she didn't own. She's a scammer. Right. right. So that, he's either lying when he yeah. gave this statement or he's lying today. I mean, he's a scammer. He's he terrible. agreed to that, too. And I think that Mr. Beeks, and particularly Miss Fountain, are people that like to take advantage of those type of people. I think it's very difficult to give the car... Well, it's gone. ...to her. The car's it's gone. gone. It's, it's gone, gone to somebody else who's gone. innocent, essentially. Uh, but she's asked for the property or money alternative of $5,000. But we don't know what was hers. You can't give away things that don't belong to you. We also can't enforce an illegal contract. You know, if I hired somebody to steal something and they did it and then came to sue me and said she didn't pay me, the court can't legally order me to pay for an illegal theft, even if that was what I agreed to do. But I do think she was damaged by the defendant's behavior. And so I am prepared to compensate her for that. How much are you... Uh, and that's... <laughs> good question. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. May I suggest that we give her $3,500? How do you come up with that figure? She's got 1500 and she's suing for 5000 I would add on to it $3,500 because I do believe her about the transaction. She believed that she had a claim on it because her sister caused her to lose the car yeah. and everything. Out of compassion and a sense of fairness, I'm thinking 3500 You know what? I, I actually would agree with you, Judge Corriero, when it comes to compensating her for the car. The car is gone. You can't make the defendant's return that. But that was the deal, right? Give me $1,500 and a car. She kept the $1,500 but has no car, and I think the $3,500 would make that But the car was worth $12,000. Right. Mm. But we can't do that today. Right, we could give her five. We give her five. you're saying. We could give her the 5000 understanding that she's still taking a significant loss I over what she bargained for. Now, I'm not sure that what she bargained for wasn't illegal, that she was... I, uh, that's where I, I have an her. issue. Here's, here, but here's my problem with this guy. I, I think that the defendants acted poorly. They took this car back from her, and they, they benefited from it, giving it to the daughter and the payments. So she needed a car. That's this whole thing. She needed a car to get work and do what she right. had to do. I just have a problem with this idea that she knew she was giving away things that didn't belong to her. He did, too, the defendant. This was just a, a bad she, deal overall. Yeah, but, she, but as she put it, she gave away some of her property, and he suggested to her that... And you think it'd be worth $5,000? Her property. I do. I do. Yeah, okay. I, okay. Her, if you, I saw the list that she, she yeah. gave of the things and photographs of the amps and the guitars and everything. There was a lot there. And look, okay. there's an argument to be made that we should make them both walk away from this That was my deal. initial thought. But, you know, this is a credibility judgment call, and I think the defendants did her wrong. So I would... Well, I'd join you 5, on that. So is it unanimous? It's unanimous. This court is again in session. All right, we've reached a verdict. We have come to what we believe is the right thing to do, what we believe is the fair thing to do, what we believe is the just thing to do. We believe that you were taken advantage of, that there hasn't been truth expressed in this courtroom from your side of the table, Mr. Beeks, and your daughter benefited from an act that took advantage of the plaintiff. And so we have found the verdict of this court is in favor of the plaintiff for the full $5,000 that she requested, and the cross-complaint is dismissed. That's the verdict of the court. Thank you.